Hey guys, uh, last night here, welcome back to another review where we talk about poorly painted transformers and the packaging doesn't matter. So, um, but we do care about the backdrop in this instance. Um, so, uh, here is the, uh, the highway scene in, uh, I think it's Chicago. Um, and fun fact, I've actually been to Chicago. Um, if you... Just look through my channel, you'll see I went to uh, Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. Um, so yeah, it was really fun. Um, but yeah, but I won't be going to Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim. Um, just because, you know, uh, the people that I work with, uh, my dad and his boss, are, you know, they just aren't up for it. Um, and it's gonna be, you know, kind of a, you know, just a waste of money, a waste of resources to, you know, just go up there. So, yeah. But there's a the highway scene. Um, so, here is, um, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series SS71 uh, Deluxe Class uh, Dino. Or Mirage, uh, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's Dino, uh, Autobot Dino. Um, now, uh, as I understand, this is the one and only official Takara product of this actual character. Um, and uh, I think there was maybe a sideways um, repaint that was supposed to be labeled as uh, Dino. Um, and there's also a uh, third party, third party and knockoff version of a, uh, of a Dino that is how, um, Farage and Dance of Death, I think the two figures are called. Uh, Farage is by Alien Attack and Dance of Death, I, do, I think that's by Black Mamba. But I don't know. Um, so this is the only official one. Um, so um, take a quick look at the guy. Um, he, he's a little bit duller uh, red on camera, but believe me, he's a light. He's a lot brighter red um, in person, uh, just because of the camera that I use, which is basically my phone. Anyway, um, now uh, due to uh, you know licensing uh restrictions uh they can't actually um they can't actually use the uh the um the actual ferrari logo on here um nor if i'm un if i'm not mistaken can they actually model the actual car that this is supposed to be. Um, I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but, um, to the real life model, but, you know, it's, it is what it is, so. Um, so yeah, uh, you have the tinted windshields, which I think that all Transformers should have. They should either have black or tinted wind windshields. Very, very well tinted windshields um because you know it hides everything that's going on inside um and of course you know i had to paint this up because you know it didn't look that good um i had to do the uh the license plate in silver um i don't know if toy hex has a um has a sticker set for this guy um i just went on toy hex i can't really remember if uh if they have a sticker set for this guy, but, you know, if they do, just let me know. Um, so, yeah. Um, he rolls not all that well due to... I mean, the back wheels are are, are good, but it's the front wheels. I think it's because of this, uh, this little plastic piece right here is um, blocking it. So, yeah. So, there you have that. Um, for comparison, uh, here he is with... Uh, uh, Mercedes Benz SLS, aka uh, Studio Series uh, Soundwave. 
uh, the only the only good one. I refuse to get the satellite one. If I was to get the satellite sound wave, I would only get it for the stand. That's about it. That's the stand is really good. That's the only good redeeming quality about that figure. There you have that. Um, here he is with uh, the last night deluxe Bumblebee. Here's with uh, the hop for the Decepticons Bumblebee, which is still a really good figure considering you know all the Bumblebees that have come out. Still a really good figure. Um, so any of that. Um, here he is with uh, Last Night Barricade. Here he is with um, Last Night Berserker. Or one of the Dreadbots from, uh, I don't have the Studio Series Crowbar or Crankcase, but this is, uh, it's basically the same thing, but with just a different head sculpt. And, uh, you know, different, you know, features on it, so. Yeah, that. Um, for another Lamborghini comparison, here he is with, uh, Studio Series Lockdown, which I did finally get to transform in this guy. Um, I don't know how you can see, but... Uh, I did cut the uh, the arm panels. I did cut them down to uh, to make it to where I can actually remove the arms or the uh, the arm panels, but keep the the, the fists on. Um, it took me a while uh, to actually get this guy transformed, but you know it was kind of well worth it. Um, mainly because I saw somebody else do it. Um, uh, I think his name is Toy Factory. Um, he makes he reviews um, toys. He does he doesn't do any commentary on it, but you know he does really good reviews on on his uh, figures. And also he um, did custom paint and customize this guy uh, to make to have it to where uh, the arm the fists are separate to make him a little bit more uh, slim. So we have that. Um, here he is with. Uh, the official um, Dark of the Moon uh, Ratchet. Um, this is the uh, red repaint. Um, kind of looks like Red Alert. So, there you have that. Um, now, before we go in, never mind. Um, here he is with uh, the last review and his wave mate, uh, B127. Um, so, yeah. Um, now, I do have uh, the other figure, the only other figure from that wave, um, and you will be seeing it reviewed pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, we have that. And here he is with uh, Studio Series uh, Optimus Prime with his trailer. Let's back it up. It's, it's, you know, all we're working with. And this guy, I did get transformed. I did custom paint the uh, trailer as well. So, there you have that. Now, um, he does come with uh, some accessories. Uh, he does come uh, with his arm blades, uh, which were painted black, but I just added some, uh, some gold, gunmetal, and uh, some silver to it. Um, and. Per um, my usual insanity, I did uh, sharpen them up. I don't know why I do that to my figures. I just I just sharpen them up for some ungodly reason. Now you can store them inside the um, the actual car itself, but I can't really get to transform him. I can't really transform him and keep the weapons in. Um, you can store them up here as well. Which kind of looks ridiculous, but you know, it's weapon storage. So, yeah. So, I guess that's basically it. So, um, let's get down to transformation. Um, so, first thing you want to do is you want to. What do we want to do first? Um, what you want to do is you want to come back here. And just untap this little back section 
right here. Just like that. Um, then what you want to do, you want to untab. There's a little hook tab here that uh, has the hook, that hooks the arms in, as well as a tab and a foot proper. So you wanted to untab that and bring all that back. Same thing on the other side. Um, you don't want to. You don't, want to, you don't want to do that just yet. Um, you want to take the doors and just fold them out for now. Um, bring that down. Um, we'll work on the legs right now. You want to bring the foot down, rotate at the bicep, and uh, then compress this little piece in right there. Same thing on the other side. Bring the foot down, rotate, compress. And then you have that all done. Um, come back up here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to untab all this like that. And bring all that down. Like that. You want to bring all this up. Like so. Bring the arms up like that. Um, You want to rotate all of this. Come back here and just make sure that that's folded in. Um, you want to rotate the arms like that and then bring them back on this double hinge right here. Um, same thing on the other side. Bring it back on the double hinge. Rotate. Right. No, rotate the other way. My bad. Um, and what you want to do is you want to take all this, bring that back, fold it at this hinge right here, and fold back on that hinge. And then what you want to do is you want to come over here and this, this bar is on a double hinge. Um, you want to bring that back. You just want to bring this up where it sits like that. You want to take this and tab it in right here. These two tabs will go into the two slots where the weapons were. Where the weapons could be stored. Um, you want to take the head and bring it up like that. Bring it past these little, these little things right here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to bring all this down with that nice ratchet. Bring all that down, and there is a tab right here. Let me see. This tab right here, they'll go into a slot right there. And secure all that in place. Situated. Sorry, I meant uh, I rotated the arms uh, the wrong way. Rotate the hands. Like that. Then uh, you want to bring the doors back and then uh, just fold them back into each other. And there's a little tab that goes into a little slot right there. Is there another tab? No, that's just a tab for the foot. Take a look at the new Studio Series Dino in his robot mode. And you know what? I'm just gonna say this right now. Why did it take 10 to 11 years to design this guy? I mean, seriously, like, why? Why did it take 10 to 11 years to design a good and proper Dino? Um, I'm not really, it's not like I'm, you know, like, not a big fan of this figure, but, you know, I never really got any, uh, Dito figure. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm tired. Um, I had a long week. Uh, I was in, uh, Osceola County. So, yeah. Um, taking a look at the head sculpt. 
come on, focus. Focus on the head sculpt. That's it. It's a really nice head sculpt. Um, the red here was painted as well by yours truly. Um, and you know, it's a really, really well done head sculpt. You know, just going down the body. I love this, uh, all this mechanical detail as well. The arms are really good. As well as the feet. Um, a little bit of accents of silver, gunmetal, gold. Um, yeah. Just a little gold on, on the rivets there. Gold right here and a little bit of red right there. And, uh, really cleans up it like clean, cleans up like really well and these tabs right here that don't seem to be going in that don't seem to be going in they are secure I will say they are secure for being what they are they are pretty freaking secure so yeah articulation wise head is on a ball joint um, you don't get that much wiggly waggly but you get uh, you can look down you can look up um, arms are on ball joints. Um, get bicep rotation. Um, go out that far. And there's another, due to the transformation joint, you can make it go a little bit more, more out. Um, you can do a full 360. Uh, arms. Can't really do a full 360. I don't know why. Um, you do get a nice double jointed elbow. Due to that transformation joint, um, and you do get wrist rotation. Um, no waist rotation. I don't know why. Probably due to the way he transforms. There's a big hinge right here that helps with the transformation. Um, legs are on ball joints. You can do. You can't really do the full splits, but that's okay. Um, you get. No, you don't get thigh rotation. You get uh, knee rotation. I can go back that far, go forward that far due to how it transforms, you can, can do the high kicks. Um, you get mm, many degrees of bend right there. Do that transformation joint, you do get the, uh, the toes that can move up and down. So, he is, uh, he is uh, well articulated. So, I have that. And... Focus. Thank you. You can take his arm blades. Um, now you can. You can. I think you. Can, yeah, you can uh, have them. You know, as handheld weapons. But that's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. I have to peg him onto his arms. The back of his arms. Yeah. You can actually, you know, like rotate them around to, you know, have like a battle, battle mode engaged. So you know, so yeah, it's really cool. You know, and, and this is just a really well done figure. It just is a shame that it took that, it took really, really long to, you know, get this out. Um, so yeah. So. For comparison, so uh, for comparison, here he is with uh, last night Berserker. As I said, I don't have uh, I don't have crankcase or crowbar. Yeah, um, here he is with uh, last night barricade. With uh, Studio Series Soundwave, which I don't, I don't remember the movie all that well, but I don't remember Soundwave ever being, you know, smaller than Dino. I mean, you never saw these two on screen uh, in the same scene, but. Just a little bit light. Okay. 
I was just wondering, you know, if the uh, blue was kind of cool. Um, here he is with uh, Studio Series Lockdown, which has gotten a uh, complete black repaint, um, as well as you know a few other touches. Look at that. Um, here he is with uh, Studio Series um, Camaro Full B. I'm still afraid to transform due to his uh, wing problem. Look at that. Um, here he is with uh, Studio Series Prime, which I'm now confident in saying I'm happy with. Look at that. Um, here he is with. Uh, actually, you know what? That one. Here he is with uh, Dark of the Moon Ratchet. Look at that. Here he is with uh, Studio Series um, Shockwave. New Shockwave. Look at that. And last but not least, here he is with my last review. Seven stand, stand, please stand. Thank you. So, there you go. So there is Studio Series Dino, and yeah, it's just an amazing, really amazing figure. Um, you know, quality-wise, he's good. Uh, robot mode looks excellent. Uh, Vehicle mode, though it's not 100% accurate, I don't care about that, but it still is good. Um, weapons, pretty good. Um, I just wish that he came with his uh, his whips, um, but I I do understand that there is a upgrade kit on eBay for that. So if you want that, go check it out. Um, he parallels well, really well with my uh, Dark of the Moon Studio Series figures. Um, and yeah, um, so yeah, ooh, sorry, and, you know, though I had, though I had to repaint him, you know, he was still, it's still a really good paint job, um, you know, I only had to add a little bit of additional red, so, you know, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, so, yeah. Now, um, one thing I want to talk about before, before I end, end this uh, uh, video is um, is that I need to talk about something. Um, a problem that I have, if you will. Um, Hasbro and Takara have seemingly vanished from selling their figures online. And now, I've... I've always been the person to get figures, like, in person at Walmart or Target or wherever, um, and, you know, Toys R Us is down, rest in peace, um, but, you know, you know, just seeing, you know, the listings, you know, just having the same things, you know, in listings, you know, right now, I don't think there, there is any listings for Grindor, Thrust, the new Sideswipe and Jolt, which at this moment have all been revealed and have been reviewed by at least one person. Now, I don't know what Hasbro and Dakar are doing about those figures. Um, if they're, you know, selling them, if they're selling them, distributing them to, you know, markets instead of, you know, going going to the online uh, version, then that's that's fine. But, you know, it's just, you know, I, I want to know, you know, what's in store, what's in stock, you know, you know, in places. So, oh, excuse me. So, you know, and, and, you know, the fact of the matter is that, you know, I, I searched online, I searched Big Bad Toy Store, Hydro Pulse, Shows these store, which I know they only, you know, do third-party figures. Um, 
I've checked TF Source in themselves, and the only place that I could find, you know, the new Studio Series figures is at CollectionToys.com or whatever the hell it's called. And you know, that's just really irritating that you know distribution to you know online websites is kind of low. Not that I'm not that I'm complaining that you know online stuff is not that popular anymore due to you know the pandemic, you know, kind of dying down. Um, but, you know, it, it's nice to see, it's, you know, it's good to have another option, you know, as far as, you know, getting your figures. Um, so, yeah. Now, you know, I do have, uh, I do have two more figures after this, uh, one kingdom, and, I have two more Voyagers after this, one kingdom and one studio series, and then I have, uh, two more kingdom reviews, but those two are gonna be conjoined together, cause, you know, it'd probably take, like, what, like, nine minutes probably to review, so, you know, I'm probably gonna do them both together. Um, now, if you want this figure, check your local Walmart. I think it's still at Walmart. Check your local Targets. Um, go on Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toaster, all those places. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram for vlogs. And go check out my Reddit down in the description below. And I know that on my last video, I have not, I, and you know, I haven't put my Reddit link in there. But, you know, a quick search of, you know... The last night would probably put something up. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so like, comment, subscribe because your opinion matters to me. And yeah, so there is the Studio Series SS71 Deluxe Class Dark of the Moon Autobot Dino, and this is the same. Remember, we are here and we are waiting. We are here. We are waiting.